Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Right. <laughs> if it sounds a little noisy, forgive me. I'm downtown today. I'm out here chilling, bro. What y'all doing? You know? Uh Man, some of you make me want to give up, man. Not on myself, but on you. Trying to help you to realize who you are. And what's actually going on in this place where you live in, man. You keep trying to have fun in this place, and this place wasn't built for you. Why do you think you have to work two jobs? Does it sound familiar what I'm saying? Obviously, I'm not making this up, right? Why are you trying to convince people that I'm crazy? That doesn't make any sense. And the thing is, man, see, when you're saying something that's, uh, that's really pinching a person's nerve, bro, they'll do stuff like that. They'll try to convince everybody that you're crazy, bro, and you don't know what you're talking about. Now, you might be wondering, well, what kind of revenge is that? Why would someone try to get revenge on a person by trying to convince the rest of the world that that person's crazy? Because of the type of environment we live in, bro. You seen what they used to do with people to people at the Salem Witch Trials. Now it's not the witches who's being uh, burned at the stake and tortured. Now it's ordinary people, bro. They could say you're like a rabbit dog and they will put you in a straight jacket, bro. With, with no proof. So when people say stuff like that, they're hoping that's what happens to you, bro. They'll put you in a place where they can conduct all kind of experiments on you, bro. Think I'm joking? I told y'all, man. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, this is how they come up with stuff like this, bro. This is where that stuff be coming from, man. If you ever watched that series, American Horror Story, before, man. They did the same thing there, bro. The only difference is, man, they tried to make it look like um, they were only targeting gay people. Uh, they had the biggest problem with people who were gay and people who were struggling with identity issues, bro. They were getting thrown in that house and they were doing experiments on them. Back in the uh, 20s and 30s and stuff. So if that's what was happening back then, then who's filling up these places right now? Because you can't do that. You can't do shock therapy on someone who's gay anymore. <laughs> so who's getting thrown in that place now? Who are they doing these experiments on now? <laughs> Yo, I'll wait, bro. I'll wait for that one. Still think I'm crazy? Ain't that what Carmen Brown said? He said, you still think I'm crazy? That's a valid question, sir. They seem to still think I'm crazy, bro. They want to keep playing with me, bro. They store up so much energy, bro. <laughs> so get into a fight with a random person, and they get not one time, bro. Now they want to kill them. It ain't nothing but a bunch of sissies out here, bro. So it don't surprise me to see you out here wearing a dress. Yeah, I said it. I told y'all I'm not messing, I'm not playing around anymore, bro. I don't care. Y'all should have checked the post. 
Not once, but twice, bro. Y'all should have checked the post. Y'all made a mistake. I told you. I'm going to have you running every time you see me. You'll never see me run from you. <laughs> I bet you'll love that. That ain't going to happen. I'm telling you now. You swing on me, you better know how to fight. Period. I'm not playing with you. You left me for dead, bro. So now, when you swing on me, you getting your ass beat. Real good. I'm not playing with you. The Most High will have his revenge. He said, touch not my anointing. I have the right to defend myself, and I need it from the government. I don't need the government to tell me I have the right to defend myself, man. They tell me I have the right to bear arms, but then they want to come and take my guns. That don't seem strange to you? I told you they're not your friends. I told you they're not your friends, bro. In the state of Florida, man, if you catch a felony, they will, if you have any sort of guns, man, they don't know, they don't care if you're the owner, if you, have, if you have a license, they don't care about none of that, bro. They come to take that from you, bro. They say you, you no longer have the right to defend yourself. Now, don't get me wrong, man. I think guns are distasteful in the first place. I don't carry them, bro. But I can understand a person wanting to defend themselves in a place like this. I can understand that. So when these people are going out of their way to take your guns from you, what does that mean? It means that not only do they want you to die, but these people most likely worship death. As I said before. When they salute the flag, they praise to Uncle Sam. I told you, bro. <laughs> I keep telling y'all, bro. I say it all the time. They're giving praise to him. And who, who is Uncle Sam? Samael is the angel of death, bro. I keep telling y'all, bro. These people really do worship death, man. They want you to kill your original self and create it yourself anew. That's the concept they live by, bro. That's why they're so deep into that cloning technology. I keep telling y'all, bro. You're not even eating real food anymore. They cloned everything, bro. All the real food is being fed to the rich and wealthy, bro. We're getting genetically modified objects, bro. Even the food that they put a label that says non-GMO, they pay for that label, bro. They literally, all they have to do is pay for that label, bro. They don't even have to pass inspection anymore. This is how much they hate you. As long as they get paid, they don't care how many people get hurt. Anyway, man, y'all might not see me again after this one because I'm tired. Of, I'm done. I'm about to start training for real. I mean, I'm already training, but I'm about to start hitting that heavy bag, bro. Because they, they're not finna keep running up on me thinking it's a game, bro. I already told them. If I have to warn you again, it's over, bro. You hear what I'm saying? You better relax. I'm out of here.